Commission. After an alleged violent crime spree, 26-year-old Rod Almansori is in a Mar Maricopa County jail cell and won't be getting out anytime soon. Good evening. Thank you so much for choosing to join us. I'm Scott Gross. Reporter Dan Croth shares new information on the story that spans several states, including Arizona, and here's from one of the women who says she was a victim of Almansori. I told the prosecutors that they let him walk, that he was capable of doing this. Leah Palian says Rod Almansuri sexually assaulted her back in April of last year when they both worked together at a restaurant in Orlando. He gets right on top of me on the couch and he starts strangling me with like the utmost force. He just like goes directly under my chin. He knows exactly what he's doing. He cut off my airways immediately. Like I was laying there in fear for my life. She managed to escape and call 911. When he hears that I'm on the phone with 911, he takes off in my car and like goes on the run. Police caught him, but Florida prosecutors ended up dropping the most violent charges. The state attorney in Orlando telling us after reviewing all the evidence and facts related to the case, we concluded there was insufficient evidence to prove the sexual battery and aggravated assault charges beyond a reasonable doubt. And it's just like so disheartening that this was allowed to happen. Almond Surrey was able to post bond in Florida and head to New York City, where on February 8th, he's accused of beating a woman to death inside a Soho hotel room. He was captured on video, later wearing what is believed to be the victim's leggings. Nine days later in Arizona, police say he stabbed a woman during attempted carjacking and the next day stabbed another woman in a McDonald's bathroom. Both victims survived. Arizona officials say they're refusing to send Almond Surrey back to New York due to the city's soft on crime policies. Having observed uh, the treatment of violent criminals in the New York area by the Manhattan DA there, Alvin Bragg, I think it's safer to keep him here and keep him in custody. Today, the Manhattan DA calling the move deeply disturbing political games. Plain and simple, old-fashioned grandstanding and politics. I've been a prosecutor for 20 years. That should have no place in our profession. And new footage released by the Scottsdale Police Department shows when the murderer, or suspected murderer, Rod Elmansori, was caught in a stolen vehicle. Officers would soon learn that Almond Sori allegedly committed other violent crimes in the days before the stabbing at a McDonald's in Surprise. He also allegedly stabbed a Starbucks employee in Phoenix the day before.